I have a confession. I am currently broke. And it's, it's, it's no one else's fault but myself. As you guys can see this shoe right here. You might be able to notice the lens or the shot looks a little bit different than usual. So yes, I have new stuff. Swimming trunks and a sweater. Oh my God. A couple of things that didn't need to be bought have been bought. They have been copped and put into the collection. I don't wanna say I could have gone without them, but I did not need them at the moment, if that makes any sense. Shout out Trillionaire Lifestyle for being the reason I'm broke right now. And also being the reason I have a video for you guys today. As you can see, this is a new shoe in the collection you guys haven't seen from me. Let me put them on the floor, have the box up. Cause I just need the box. Um, okay. As you guys may know me as Juice Ju, if you guys supported the last couple of videos, the two before that, crazy love one, bro. Shout out to you guys for getting them up to like three and 400 views. CDG Converse, this is about stock X today. If you guys know me personally, I'm a GOAT user mainly. So I decided to switch it up and go on StockX because they were having a deal on the Cement 4s. GOAT app was selling for close to $400 and like I just said, I'm broke and I, I, don't, I don't have the money for that. So I went to the competitor looking on any way I could hold at least $50 more in my pocket temporarily. And I did. So basically the StockX is exactly the same thing as the GOAT app, but has a little bit more things to buy from like as watches, bags, shirts, clothing, other hype stuff. I think I said watches, but if I didn't, watches. Um, yeah, so all that type of stuff. And then shoes, and it's like a real stock market for like hype pieces, and you can see how the prices change from the latest sale to what's being asked for now. You can bid and all that type of stuff. So it's, it's a pretty cool app in general. It's like the whole experience is very cool and engaging, if you wanna say. You can put your whole collection up there, see where, um, how much value it holds, what, where you're placed and all this type of stuff. It's, it's pretty cool, it's a little extra for me. That's why I stick to the GOAT app. Simple reasons, I don't care about all the flashy stuff, I just want the thing I want and I'm out, bro. And I do a lot of window shopping, that's it. But other than that, I don't need to see all that. But we're gonna talk about my experience today. So pretty much it starts the same way. You go to a shoe you want, you search it, find it, click. It shows you the la the lowest asking price which you would be paying for the item. And yeah, so once you see that, you can either buy for the price they're asking or you can bid and see if you can get a lower price, get a deal if you're just that savvy and lucky, which is never me, never me. It's always dropping after I make the purchase of a ridiculous amount of money. And that's okay. Not really, but I'm just gonna have to go with it. Hopefully I get a dub on the sneakers app one day, if I'm lucky. But that hasn't been happening, so whatever. So once you buy, the the buyer has to accept the price, I mean, accept your offer and all that stuff. So that happened to me. Then I had to wait for the buyer to ship, I mean, the seller to ship, which, I'm assuming it's the same amount of time it is on the GOAT app, which is three three days. I've sh I've sold three pairs of shoes on the GOAT app, never on StockX. So, technically they took three days. I bought on Friday, he didn't give them Friday or Saturday, and Sunday you can't ship, obviously. I'm pretty sure everyone knows this. So you can't ship, so I got him on Monday. So it felt like, it, it was really four days for me. But technically, technically he got around the system, and I don't know if you guys know what comes with the GOAT stuff, but this is it. I already have it out. Comes with this piece of paper for authentication, then a little signature from the people. I'm looking for the um thing. Hold on, give me a second. Here, this is what comes with the socket. They give you a sticker, bro, because this is what we need. And then this right here, this little thing. Stock X right there. So um, they give you all that. I'm not really sure why, but it's kind of cool. You can put the sticker on your laptop if you're one of those guys. Not me personally, but yeah. So um, yeah, Goat app also has a $10 shipping fee and I guess the authentication. I don't know what that, that cover, like, I don't know exactly what that little price is that covers everything. I forgot what it's called, but I forgot, but um, 
it's like a tax on the go on StockX, and it's like a certain percentage of the shoe, the price. So yeah, bow. Got them once again. Tell me what y'all think about this video. Tell me what you guys prefer, StockX or Goat app. I'm personally, I think I just said this. I'm personally a Goat app user, but wherever the shoe's cheapest, you'll find me for now on. Cause I'm trying to save money. I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna be buying shoes for a minute, guys. That's the sad truth, but for a minute, me and shoes will not be coming in contact. Saying goodbye to shoes, it, it's like, it's a part of me, so. I'm not really ready, but I'm gonna I'm have to do it temporarily. Oh my God. That smells great. Okay, um, I'm gonna see y'all later, man. Tell me what y'all think. Share this video with anyone you want. Subscribe if you want. I'll be back. Maybe doing vlogs or something interesting. Not sitting in my room for once. I think... Is this the only thing y'all see me do? I don't know. Here, I'm gonna play this song. You guys can go. You guys can go.